Okay, this is the probe compensation adjustment for the uh, Link uh, DSO-2102. So we have the two, the two probes here, uh, blue and yellow. Right now I have blue assigned to the channel 1 and yellow assigned to the channel 2 of the scope. So the, the way the, this scope calibrates is that it puts a, uh, uh, it puts a calibration signal out the external trigger input jack. So I've got the external trigger input unplugged and then I'm going to just follow the, the directions on the screen. Okay. So let's see what we do here. So let's go up to the channel menu. select calibrate channel A1 and then what that does is it brings up this little box here set probe to match software attenuation setting attach probe to external BNC adjust calibration until you get a square wave okay so the blue probe is channel 1 I'll check to make sure that it's on the 10x attenuation setting and that the software is also set to 10x attenuation there and then we will stick the probe's tip into the VNC connector there and now we see the square wave there and then the any probe kit will always come with a little compensation adjustment screwdriver. So I go up to the compensation capacitor in the in the some some probes will have the compensation cap on the probe and some will have it actually in the connector. This probe has it in the connector. So I'm going to go up with the no it fell out. I'm going to I'm going to go up with the screwdriver and turn that compensation capacitor until I get the squarest possible wave shape which to my eye is right about there okay so that's the blue channel compensation adjustment and we hit done and now we'll do the a two channel compensation adjustment with the yellow probe. Stick that in there like that. And then we take the screwdriver and we go up here and we set that to the square as possible. wave shape with the screwdriver. Now anytime you change probes from scope to scope you should do this because each individual scope's input will have a slightly different capacitance. Even when you change from channel to channel you should check your your probe compensation. Okay, that might still be a little off. Let me see if I can get that a little bit better. That looks pretty good to me. Now I think you can tell that if your probe is badly uncompensated, like this, or like this, your readings are going to be affected. Any, any computations that you make from an uncompensated or uncorrected probe, uh, those readings are going to be an error. Okay, so there we go. Hit done when done. So we're done. So now our probes are compensated, and uh, let me go ahead and just put a real signal on there for you. Got that all set up back on the Little Brian test board now, and we'll hit go. 
and then we will turn up the gate drive a little bit and there you have your